What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. One Piece 1100, baby. 1100, 1100, however you want to fucking read it. We've reached a milestone once again. Now, I know this episode is going to be fucking crazy. I've already been hearing the rumors and seeing little things around the interwebs of the past week or so. Seems we got the stacked animators on this episode. So this is going to be a good one. I can't wait to fucking get into this. I've been fucking dodging all the spoilers until... I mean, it's only been a day, but these motherfucking editors and people... You know, this community is quick, bro. This community is quick as fuck. So, you know, I've had to dodge, you know, everything for the past 24 hours on the interwebs and social media and all that bullshit. Uh, but we've made it this far. And I can't wait to get into this episode because this is going to be a fucking banger. Like I said, it's a milestone. 1100. Big fucking milestone. As usual, every time we get through another 100 episodes of One Piece, I mean, it's fucking wild to be this far into the ride. You know what I'm saying? This journey is crazy. But off of last episode, we got familiar faces in Egghead from CP0 looking for the smoke, looking for another L. They couldn't just sit down and take it the first time. They're fucking back. Rob Lucci, Kaku. And whoever the fuck else is with them, regular government folk alike. Oh, bro. Luffy is not happy. Rob Lucci, he's here in the flesh. And he is trying to get his orders done that he's been given by the World Five Elders or the World Government, whatever. I think that's what they said last episode. If I remember correctly, CP0 answers directly to the World Five Elders or uh, directly to the Celestial Dragons. Same sort of thing. You know, Mary Jaw or whatever. The Holy Land. So they are here on their orders to take out Vegapunk. And that's obviously what we learned from Vegapunk in his perspective, talking to us, like Luffy and them, uh, like, yo, take me with you. Like, they're trying to treat me exactly like Ohara a couple years ago. They want to get rid of me. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. Take me with you. <laughs> so as we learned about that, that's, yeah, exactly why CP0 is here. They obviously make themselves known. Atlas, instead of listening to Shaka, went and tried to take care of them. Uh, like, she thought she had a chance or some shit. And she got fucked up. And uh, obviously, Chopper and uh, Luffy, Jinbei, as well as Bonnie, but she's currently unconscious right now, uh, come by and witness this scene of Atlas on the floor and, and, and really fucked up. I mean, uh, and then, you know, Luffy was trying to tell Chopper, like, yo, help her out. But like then, like, once we got up closer, like, Chopper realized, as well as probably the rest of us, like, yo, hold on. This is probably more of an expertise for Frankie... You know, someone who knows more about science, technology, cyborgs, that type of thing. Like, this is more of his expertise, not mine. Like, I'm just a simple doctor that... Not simple doctor. Like, Chopper's a great doctor. But this is just not his field of expertise at all. You know what I'm saying? Even though she seems like a regular person, she's not a regular person. She's literally a creation of Vegapunks and another form of Vegapunk. So, yeah, it's not just a normal human that you can give medicine and like, okay, you're good now, right? Or like surgery or whatever. Like, no. So it would be more advantageous for Frankie or Vegapunk to be able to be there to work on her. But obviously that's not the case and that's not what we can do right now. So Luffy is not fucking happy because he remembers that Atlas was nice to them, was showed him how to, you know, eat food or get food from that machine. And so he saw it as like her, you know, feeding them. And he takes that very personally, like, yo, like she was nice to us and you just did this to her. Like, nah, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Like I already did, but like, I, bro, it's been a while, bro. It's been a while, Luchi. It's been a long time, actually. A couple years in the in the universe of One Piece, like over two years, and they've they're an Emperor's crew now. You think you're just gonna step up and do whatever the fuck you want, and and try and take me on or whatever? Like, nah, bro. He, he <laughs> Luigi, I'm telling you, bro. He's itching for another fucking L, and I'm so excited to get into this. So without further ado, let's get in the episode. Let's get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below comment subscribe for new and that notification bell so you the next one's dropping let's get into it one piece episode 1100 wow you've made it so far <laughs> i see verses already powers on a different level luffy versus luchi nah two l's baby two l's going at it not signifying that they're l's clearly there's one l and there's one fucking big ass w baby yeah, things are never simple for you and your fucking commanding of the Navy. Damn right he was. 
それで教皇に突入したようで一旦相談してほしかったのガキどもだから、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、This episode is gonna be fucking insane. That's right, citizens, get the fuck out of the way, cause shit is about to hit the fan. <laughs> nah, he ain't fucking leaving, bro. He ain't letting that man walk free, bro. I'll tell you that much. Luffy's standing on business. As he always fucking does. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. The fact that they're both standing off against each other again in this in this story is just wild, man. Things are a lot different now. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. He wants his get back. Come on, bro. Come on, yo. <laughs> nah, the hype is unreal. The hype is unreal. <laughs> Animation already, bro. Nah, <laughs> yo, I gotta lock in. I gotta sit the fuck up for this. <laughs> yo, <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. Damn, some nice hand to hand combat to start off the fight. Both using hockey. Oh, oh, armament hockey. Oh my God! Look at him go. Yo, nah, this shit is. Uh, this is like this is like ironically nostalgic. Just just because it's them two, but we're in a completely different setting, place in the story. Oh, bro, this is so lit. <laughs> the famous dance, bitch. What's good? I'ma fuck you up. I'ma fuck you up. Once again. <laughs> We're seeing him actually just bring it out of his own volition. Like last time it was like he was on death's doorstep and that's how it happened. But he's doing it of his own free will right now. Nah, nah, his delt nah, 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 nah. Bro, this is beautiful. The drums. Drums of liberation, here we go again. Oh, the animation is so fire, yo, nah. Look at his hair change, yo, nah, it's so fire, him bringing him out himself. This transformation, him just, just doing it, so tough. Bro, this, transform this transformation is literally never gonna get old. This is fucking amazing. Hockey that comes with it is just crazy. Yeah, Luchi. I, <laughs> I mean, he's excited. He looks excited, but yo, you better be careful. You better be careful, as I'm saying. <laughs> the warrior of liberation, baby. Yes, it is. Bro, the animation is so good. It looks so fluid. Oh god, I live for these episodes, as we all do. Ain't that fucking right, baby? And he's already in Mugen. <laughs> nah! Nah, bro! Nah! What the fuck was that? This is what I'm talking about. When they, when they, like, just cut off the sound and do some shit like that? Nah, bro. Nah. That was so fucking tough, bro. That will never not give me goosebumps. That shit is crazy. That shit looks so fucking tough, bro. Oh my god. Before Luchi could even react, he was in front of him and knocked his shit. Oh my god. <sighs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh, dude. That was fucking crazy. Damn, yo, the way he's what, Bro, the animation is so fluid. <laughs> okay, they gave him a tough transformation too, bro. Bro, the animation is fucking crazy. Model Leopard awakened form. His awakened form, huh? Oh, shit. Uh, bro, it's too late for permission, dog. Do you not see what's happening? That means he's been putting in a lot of work. He still has got his personality and he's awakened now. Crazy. <laughs> Luffy. <laughs> Kiss my ass, bitch. Holy fuck. <laughs> Let us get out the fucking way first. Ooh. Yo, nah, this episode is insane. This episode is insane. The real one. <laughs> 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 he realizes. <laughs> That's not his true name, bro. It's Gomu Gomu, not Gum Gum. In the old books, he resembles a god. <laughs> Is Cruz learning about the power for the first time? The sun god. Oh my god, and we're only halfway, dude. Yo, this episode has been fucking nothing short of amazing. Oh. God, bro, I live for this shit. I fucking live for this shit. I want to be like that. Diverse futures of humanity. Yo, not nah, it's, it's crazy. The knowledge coming from Vegapunk, getting explanations of this, and, the, and his crew learning about the true nature of his power is crazy. So fire. I'm gonna have so many frames to choose from for the thumbnail for this episode. Like, look at this shit. Crazy. <laughs> uh, look who it is. Not at the moment, they're not. They they got tired of him. That one looks like Jimbei. Oh yeah, no, because the Jimbei Seraphim is actually right there. I thought you were talking about Sent tomorrow for a second. <laughs> Oh, he, he low-key guilt tripping him. He's like, hey, I saved you back in the day, bro. You owe me a favor. Oh, shit.
be done. Y'all ain't stand a chance right now. The five elders have the top of the food chain. Mm hmm. Yep. You're at the bottom of the food chain. Holy shit. Bro, he wants to get back. He didn't give a fuck. Oh my goodness. Still going. Luffy's just having fun, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 went through the ground. The whole environment is, is his playground, bro. <laughs> Y'all are fighting a losing battle. <laughs> oh. oh! God damn! Just headbutted his shit into his gut. Luchi, you might have gotten stronger, bro, but I don't think you've gotten strong enough where you're past Luffy's strength. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> Damn right I am. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> Yeah, he emperor now, bro. Y'all just talking calmly, though. Yeah, Luchi's fucking approaching. Oh, shit. God damn. Cut him up quick. I mean, that's what y'all get for letting your guard down, bro. They were just having a candid conversation. His whole hand. Hand pistol. Ah, oh, fuck. And there goes the hierarchy on the battlefield. Oh, shit, bro. What a fucking episode. That shit was crazy, bro. I knew it was gonna be. I knew what the fuck I signed up for when I was about to get into this. But god damn. Holy fuck. Alright guys, what an absolutely splendid episode of One Piece. Well, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Milestone reached 1100. You know they had to go fucking crazy and that they did. God damn, dude. I remember reading this, obviously, I mean, to, to some extent. This is a while ago in the manga, but I remember reading this. I was like, God damn, like, dude, Luigi's actually back, bro. And it's been a while since I have read it, but like, I at least remember this, like, this interaction happening. But I just can't remember to the extent of the fight, like, how, like this, this blew my mind. Like this, this, this was crazy. Like this is what I'm talking about again and again. When I mean, like, you kind of get a sense of watching it for the first time, even though you have read what has happened, however long ago it was. Like in this case, like this was, this has been, this, like I said, this was a while ago in the manga. And that still felt completely fresh and new to me, even though I knew this interaction was going to happen at some point. Like the, the, the way they bring it to life on the screen with the animation, the soundtrack, all of that stuff. <sighs> wow, bro. That shit was crazy. Like that's that, that fight is nothing like how I remember it. Seeing it like that. Hell no. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I at least remember the interaction happening, but in terms of the fight, like, I don't really remember how crazy it was in terms of the manga. Plus, like, you're looking at still images. This shit? Nah. They fucking spazzed this episode, as they usually do when anything monumental like this happens. Or there is just some, like, crazy fight actually about to go down in One Piece nowadays. Like, bro, if any of the main people of, like, our... Of like who's a part of the story, like, you know, big names, Luffy, any of his top members, Sanji, Zoro... Fucking Jim Bay, 
<clears throat> but mainly, maybe mainly the, the big three, even though Jinbei has a higher bounty than Sanji now. <laughs> but like probably those four of his crew, anytime they're fighting somebody, any anybody from the top of the Navy, you know, any of the admirals, uh, as we can see CP0, Rob Lucci, fucking uh, any of the other emperors or, or big names in the pirates, fucking Law and Blackbeard. We still haven't gotten back to that yet. I mean, any of these big names are getting into a tussle, they're gonna go fucking stupid with the animation, as they always fucking do. Oh my god, that, that shit was so gas, bro. This episode was fucking stunning. That moment where he first transformed, like I said, this transformation is never gonna get old. His transformation in Gear 5 is never gonna get the fuck old. Like, it's such a dope transformation, but it's special in this episode because he's actually doing it of his own volition instead of it sort of happening unconsciously because he's on like death's doorstep where that's the first time it happened because he was pushed to those limits during his fight with kaido this time he literally just focused and brought it out himself you know what i'm saying and and the the, the colors the way he his whole fit transforms basically because it's you know it transforms everything is white in, in white even his hair i mean the transformation in itself is just beautiful and him bringing it about himself is nothing short of a fucking amazing, bro. That shit was so fucking dope. But that moment shortly after he transformed where Lucci was getting excited, like, yeah, nah, this is going to be fun. Be careful with your choice of words because Luffy's on a different fucking level now. And when he charged in, all of a sudden, he's right in front of him about to knock his shit and the soundtrack and all the sound went silent. Those, I, bro, those moments do something to me, bro. Oh my god, the goosebumps you feel during something like that. Like, literally just complete silence, and you know that that fucking impact is about to hit. Oh my god, nah, bro. I went fucking crazy. That shit was so gas. The fight in itself was amazing, and then also Vegapunk reacting to all this and seeing what is really transpiring and what he's seeing. You know, like the, the white warrior, and then going on to explain what is really happening with Luffy and what he's really resembling according to his knowledge and then giving that knowledge to the rest of luffy's crew because obviously they witnessed some of what he did on onigashima but they were all separated some of them didn't even witness any of it at all they just kind of felt what was happening and like how much hockey was going everywhere and the energy that they could feel on onigashima they knew it was coming from luffy but some of them didn't even really see what the fuck happened with him and kaido so the fact that they're getting a clear image on video live footage and the knowledge that vegapunk is informing them on on what is really happening with luffy and what he's really resembling and what he really is the warrior of liberation the sun god nika like bro that is also another layer of excitement that like his crew is really learning what the fuck luffy really is and and, and his what his devil fruit really like bro fucking gas all around this was a stunning episode absolutely spectacular legendary stuff as usual anytime like one of these episodes come about like that's literally what it is like it's it's a fucking 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 every fucking time that's just what it is so i mean that <laughs> that's kind of you know a perfect encapsulation of this episode honestly 1100 11 out of 10 <laughs> fucking amazing bro amazing episode so i think that covers it that was fucking absolute gas oh yeah and then we saw sent tomorrow come in let me mention that real quick. We saw Sin tomorrow come in. Apparently, he's under Vegapunk, but he also works for the Navy. So he was kind of juggling, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? But then Vegapunk informed him that CP0 is after my life. So, you know, please do this for me. You know, I saved your life back in the day. Kind of like guilt tripping him. And he was like, all right, well, I guess I'll, you know, take charge of the Seraphim and then we'll, we'll push CP0 back and get him the fuck out of here. And uh, so he accepted Vegapunk's order, obviously. And so he started using the Seraphim, and it just looked like a complete losing battle. And then right as Luffy and Sentamaro are having a candid conversation there at the end, like they're not in the middle of a fucking battle, Rob Lucci takes that chance and just fucks Sentamaro up. And he said there at the end, like, oh, all we, all we needed to do was take him out. Now we have control again. Because there's a hierarchy on who can control the Seraphim. First at the top being the World Five Elders. Second in line being Vegapunk and all the respective satellites, for that matter, since they're all Vegapunk, Sentamaru, and then anyone else below that, which is, in this case, CP0, which would probably be the lowest, you know, I mean, you gotta be a pretty high status to have one of these chips to be able to control these motherfuckers, so you gotta, you've gotta at least be in Cypher Pool. You can't just be a regular fucking soldier. But yeah, they're the lowest of the food chain, so once Sentamaru came on the field, he's higher than them, his authority goes. But now that they took him out, they're like, okay, bet. 
basically an Uno reverse. Like, okay, now, now we can use the Seraphim. It's like, oh, fuck, here we go. So that was just the start of something crazy. And who knows? Like, maybe the next couple episodes are still fucking insane. But that would... that. That's a great fucking start. I'll tell you that much. 1100. Bravo. Good fucking job. All the animators. I love this fucking show. It's fucking amazing. So, uh, yeah. That's going to do it for me in this reaction. If y'all enjoyed it, please like down below. Comment. Subscribe for new. Hit that notification bell. See the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.